Today we're going to talk about Advanced Placement Courses, which you will hear us call AP. What is AP? They're courses taught by high school teachers that will help you earn college credits. AP courses are the most widely accepted way to earn college credits while in high school across the country. You must make a 3, 4, or 5 on the AP test in May to receive that credit. AP courses are highly favored at elite universities across the country. Take notice on the slide of the out-of-state schools, private schools, in-state schools, and Ivy League schools that are listed. Caldwell County students can take the AP class and the AP exam for free. What are some basics about AP? That all grade levels can enroll in these courses, but you must meet prereqs before signing up. So make sure to check your online curriculum guide. You will receive recommendations on your worksheet for AP courses that are based off of your teachers and your test scores. Even if you did not receive a recommendation, if you have a good work ethic, good attendance, and are ready for college level work, you can still be successful in AP courses. What to expect in AP classes at South Caldwell High School? Rigor, inside and outside of classwork, group work and projects, required readings and essays, fast pace and new material every day, but you will also be better prepared for the four-year college and university coursework. Here is a list of AP courses that we offer next year at South Caldwell High School. AP Language, you must pair with AP Seminar to make it a year-long course. AP Literature and Composition, you must pair with AP Research to make it a year-long course. We also offer AP Statistics. AP Precal is a new course that is for junior year. AP Calculus AB is a course that we offer for senior year. AP Computer Science Principles is the prereq for AP Computer Science A. We also have AP Physics. AP Biology, you must pair with Biology AP Prep to make it year long. AP Environmental, AP Human Geography, AP US Government and Politics, AP US History, AP Psychology, AP World History. We have a new AP Studio Art, and if you have AP Music Theory, we recommend that you also take it with Honors Music Theory. Notice the grade levels beside the course listings. Here are trends in how to take the APs and the sequencing of those courses. In ninth grade, we recommend AP World History in lieu of World History. In 10th grade, for biology, you can take AP Biology Prep and AP Bio. Instead of Civic Literacy, you could take AP Government and Politics. In a 11th grade, you could take AP US instead of American History, AP Language instead of English 3. In 12th grade, you can take AP Lit instead of English 4, and AP Research, but only if you took AP Seminar in the 11th grade. Notice that all the rest of the AP courses are listed and can be taken in any year, but make sure you pay attention to those parentheses at the end that will help you know the prereqs for that course. What is an AP Capstone Diploma? If you make a three or higher on the following AP test, AP Seminar, AP Research, plus four more AP courses of your choice, that is an AP Capstone Diploma. Why is this important? Because it helps you build research skills, critical thinking, and communication skills to stand out on college applications. It also provides you with research and experiences to discuss at interviews for scholarships and college admissions, and it helps set you apart in both of those processes. How to register for an AP? You're going to pick up an AP intent form from your counselor or download it off the South Caldwell High School Counseling website. The top part of the form is for rising juniors and seniors who will select AP Language and AP SIM or AP Lit and AP Research if interested in pursuing the AP Capstone Diploma. The bottom part of the form is for you to check off and pick any other AP courses that you're interested in. Once you sign this form and register for the course, it cannot be changed or dropped. Students needing only one course from the pair can select just one but you will meet with your counselor after registration to discuss options for schedule arrangements that will help us fit these courses in.